Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan, and today I'll be showing off my 3D printed gearbox I designed for a low-cost, rudimentary robotic joint. The gearbox is powered by a 5-volt DC internally geared motor that sits behind this air vent. The output torque of the motor is then further increased by utilizing two 3D printed gears that sit inside of this gear housing. The output shaft is here and it's made out of stainless steel. It has very low backlash and is extremely sturdy as it's supported with three bearings along its length. There is a fixed inline pivot that sits just above the output shaft that was included as an original feature for the project that I was working on. Instead of utilizing an rotary encoder to determine the position of the output shaft, I instead used a low cost limit switch, which is triggered every one fourth of a rotation of the output shaft. Apart from that, the whole gearbox was designed in Fusion 360 it was printed in PLA on a Prusa printer and is held together with nuts and bolts. I will show the gearbox working and then I'll take it apart so if you're interested you can see what's inside. I am now going to get the motor running. I added a little piece of electrical tape so y'all can see the shaft rotating. You'll hear a few noises. One is more constant and it's the noise of the gearbox from the input motor. And then you'll also hear the intermittent click of the limit switch when it is triggered every one quarter of a rotation. I will also put a slight load by holding onto the shaft and you should see the current draw increase. I am actually not able to stop the, the motor from running just by holding onto the shaft. So there's a decent amount of torque uh, but let's get it running. I am now going to take apart the gearbox so you can see what's inside. So those are the three screws that hold the two case halves together. And once those screws are removed, we can separate the case. Here are the two main 3D printed gears. The main gear is attached to the output shaft using this shaft collar and grub screw. The main gear, the input gear, is also attached to the output shaft with a collar shaft and grub screw. Here is the limit switch that is triggered every one fourth of a rotation by these little lobes on the output gear. There is two bearings on this case half. One is here and the other is here and they support the shaft. I can take off that main output gear just by sliding it up and we can see the third bearing below that supports the, the shaft from there. The bearing just snaps in very nicely and it fits well. The main gear or the main output gear is held to get on with those uh, six screws onto the collar shaft and the that main input gear is also held on with six screws. I will uh, take off the vent for the motor so you guys can see the motor. Once those screws are removed, we can pop off the vent cover it's a slight tight fit because there is a lip that holds on from the other side. There we go, you can see the lip that holds on. There's the motor, so it's just a standard high RPM DC motor connected to a gearbox. And the output of this is connected directly to the input 3D printed gear, and it just goes directly to the to the output gear. So it's the 3D printed aspects are, are quite simple. It's only two gears. There are a lot more gears 
uh, that are made out of metal inside of there. But that is pretty much the entire gearbox. Uh, we have the two 3D printed gears, the, the casing that holds the bearings, the limit switch, the vent cover, more bearings, this auxiliary structure, which was built for a specific purpose, specific to the project. Uh, but apart from that, it's, it's a fairly simple, well-built gearbox. These are quite oversized gears and they work really well. They're very strong and sturdy. I wouldn't expect them to break, uh, but that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. This is Levi Sheridan and have a nice day.